Hey guys, welcome to What's in the News with the Principal. I'm, my name is Mr. Clint Graham. I'm the principal here at Metcalf County High School. We are very excited about uh, the year that we've, we've got going and uh, it's a big testament to our students, our teachers, our community members for making our year so smooth to this point. Thank you so much for what you do. I really do appreciate it. Let's get to some quick, <clears throat> quick announcements this morning. I know that everybody's really busy. Uh, but we want to make sure that you are on top of everything going on here at MCHS. Uh, I got some host of club news here, guys. Uh, and host is a club for future healthcare professionals. And they, uh, they begin a membership drive this week. If you're interested in being a member, um, you can still sign up up until October 4th. So you can go by room 120, 124. That's Miss Melissa Smith's room. There's actually a poster outside of her room that can give you some more information. So check into that, guys. We have, on Monday, we have our first FFA meeting coming up on, in Lunch B. Take, care, you know, take advantage of that. Old School Cafe Donut Shop for the students that haven't been there and community members or, or, or parents. If you haven't been there, I suggest the cinnamon rolls. They're very good, so you can check that out. But we have applications for students who want to be at the, that uh, can work at the donut shop. And uh, you can go and get those at Miss Scroggy's office. So check that out. Any 18-year-old interested in a custodial position, a student here at Metcalf County High School, working Monday through Friday from 3 to 8 and every other Saturday, 10 to 3, with starting pay at 10 bucks, and then you get a 50-cent increase at 3, 6, and 12 months, you guys can go by. Miss Scroggy has those applications in her office. Uh, I do want to encourage you this Saturday, which is tomorrow, September the 14th, go by the Dollar General parking lot. Um, the boys basketball team will be there. They're ready to wash your car and give you some barbecue, okay? So you can get a shoulder sandwich, you can get a ribeye sandwich, and a bag of chips for six bucks. Help out those, the basketball team as they try to raise money. Also, it's time for college visits. We try to get our students on campuses as much as we can. Okay, so what I want you to do, students and parents, I want you to encourage your students to do this. At the Cross Hall at Metcalf County High School, there is a list <coughs> that you can, <coughs> excuse me, that you can put down. <coughs> Got a cold this morning, guys. It's good. Uh, that you can put down, and we're going to go try to visit the top 10 colleges. Okay, so if there's a college that, that you're interested in, put that down, and then we're going to have nominations in the top 10. We're going to try to get there. Miss Scroggy's leading that. So you need to make sure you put that down. We have set a date for fall formal. Fall formal is October 19th, uh, Saturday from 7 to 9 in the high school cafeteria. It's 10 bucks per person. <clears throat> and you can see Miss Melissa Smith uh, if you have any questions about that. Uh, homecoming. Homecoming. Let's talk about that. Homecoming is next week. Um, and um, we will have dress-up days for that. So I want to talk about that real quick. I'm going to pull it up here so I'll make sure I got it. So starting Monday is a Hillbilly and City Slicker Day. Tuesday is Nerd vs. Jock Day. Wednesday is Favorite Team or Hobby Day. Thursday is Neon vs. Old People Day. And Old People is just an opinion. I want to throw that out there to everybody watching this. Also, Friday is Hornet Spirit Day. So we're going to bring in our spirit gear. The boys play that night after the homecoming football game where we're going to have what we call the Hornet Hangout here at MCHS Gym. All right, so here at the high school gym, after the homecoming football game, I want to encourage you until midnight, we're going to have games, we're going to have fun, um, and it's going to be a really good time. I, I would like to mention, too, that during that day, on that Friday, we're going to have a pep rally, and we're going to get pumped, so you better believe that. All right, Sources of Strength is now taking peer nominations for peer leaders, so if you have any questions about that, you need to nominate People, if you would like to be involved with uh, Sources of Strength, please see Miss Brandy Morgan. Um, she can help you with that uh, and get you rolling. We did start uh, 21st Century this past week. It went really well. It's an after-school program. Keep in mind students, okay? And parents, I want you to communicate this with anybody that, that you may come in contact with. If you stay after school for any activity, if you have practice and you're in the building, we have a free meal for you. Okay, so every student can get a, a free supper right after school. Now it's a little early, but it's three o'clock, about two forty-five, and you can go down there and you can get your food. Um, let's see here. The band. I want to say congratulations. This past Saturday, they could they um, they went to Glasgow and um, they placed second in Class A at the South Central Kentucky Marching Band Classic. So congratulations. 
Also, too, this week what we had was uh, we had board recognitions for uh, students, certified employee of the month, and classified employee of the month. The first person I'd like to mention is our student of the month was Cody Hart. Cody actually played on a professional marching band this past summer going across the United States, that's right, sleeping on yoga mats in high school gyms and playing on a professional marching band in large stadiums. So, Cody, great job. Great work ethic. We're really proud of you here at the high school. Certified Teacher of the Month was Miss Karen Linkus. Miss Karen Linkus does a phenomenal job in our building. We are so appreciative of her work ethic in here, and she really affects people in a positive way, and also is great for our staff morale. Uh, also, Classified Employees of the Month was our custodial staff. That's right, they do a great job. Tim South, Paul McKenzie, Wendell Jesse, and David Acree. Thank you guys so much for what you do, and we really do appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. I want to make sure I did a staff shout out this week, Mr. Jay Dameron. Man, you got it going on, brother. In the class, he's doing such a good job. He really affects our community. He's, he's involved in a, in a local church here, and man, he's just a passionate guy about helping students, and we really do appreciate that. Uh, Night of Industry is coming up next week. That's next Tuesday evening. If you want to get involved with that, please see Ms. Groggy for more information. Uh, that's about all I got right now, guys. We do have several things going on here. I just wanted to hit the high points. Before I leave you here, I want, do want to encourage you to check in with Mr. Trotter on Trotter Time over at the middle school. He's got some good things going on there. Check out online, Hornet News Network, Trotter Time. Great job, Mr. Trotter. You're doing big things over there at the middle school. We appreciate what you're doing, preparing students before they get here. You're doing a really good job, guys. Guys, let's lead with character this weekend. Let's lead with integrity. Let's be safe. And always remember, it's a great day to be a Hornet.